Hello, Little Mouse, Chapter 22, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Mira Rose. Artwork by Candy Fluffs on Instagram. Go check her out. Go check out her store in the description box below. And if you haven't listened to the previous 21 chapters, you can also find those linked in the description box. Now then, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We're at Chapter 22. Why, why are we here? Uh, leave a like and a comment. And if you aren't sure what to comment, put Ladybug's identity. Please enjoy Hello Little Mouse, Chapter 22. Adrian Agrest, shocked. Marinette, he should say something. He should smile, laugh, sigh, something. He should do something instead of being a gawking mouth breather. But he didn't. He couldn't. All Adrian did was stare, jaw dropped, at Marinette. Marinette, his girlfriend. Marinette, his girlfriend, who also happened to be his partner, Ladybug. Ladybug. Ladybug was Marinette, who was also multi-mouse. Was this a prank? No, it couldn't be. It wasn't. She wouldn't. Ladybug wouldn't do this to him. Neither would Marinette. Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. Right? Marinette was Ladybug. Ladybug was Marinette. Wait. He'd been dating Ladybug this whole time? And you couldn't have asked me out in a mask? He said, the question slipping before he could rein it back. Huh? Marinette blinked, clearly still on edge. I spent the better part of a year trying to convince you to date me, but instead I got a mouse? Oops, that, that sounded bad. Why? Why date Adrian when I'm already spending time with you as Cat Noir? If it was about hangout spots, they could have watched movies here. Not that he was complaining. He liked being at the Dupang Changs more. That's it? Marinette slid her palms to the sides of his face. That's the problem you have with this? That I only started dating you once I knew your identity? What? No, I, I don't care about that. It made sense that my naked face would be a make or break. I mean, like, if you wanted to date me, why be a mouse? Why not the bug? She blinked at him, and he knew he'd said the wrong thing. Uh... Adrian narrowed his eyes at his... Girlfriend. Partner. Girlfriend partner. They were dating, right? Wait. This meant Ladybug was his girlfriend, wasn't she? Uh... His heart wanted to explode. Forget the question. This realization made him giddy. Not only was he dating Ladybug, but Ladybug was Marinette, which was even cooler. I was worried, uh... She looked at the ceiling. That you'd think I'm shallow because I only dated you after finding out you're Adrian Agrest. You're worried it would be weird for Ladybug to date her classmate? Marinette coughed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Oh, right. He was an idol. Y yeah, he could see her hesitation now. So, um, does this mean we tell Rena Rouge Lady Noir is a thing? You aren't mad? He shook his head. This is, like, the best thing ever, Bugaboo. That and the time I asked you out and we make cookies together. Then he thought it over. Although, Alia will probably wallop me? Huh? She knows I'm dating Multimouse. If she thinks I'm canoodling with you, I'm sure to get bonked over the head a few times with that flute of hers. Oh! Marinette started laughing. It matched Ladybug's laugh. How had he not seen it before? No, it's it's fine. She already knows. That was a bit of a slap. That your ladybug? Yeah. She found out. She bit her smile. I, uh, told her. Oh. 
sorry. He shook his head. No, no. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. It only sank his heart and killed the shiny feeling in his chest from the identity reveal. I'm sure you had your reasons. Um, yeah. Thanks. No problem. Silence sawed between them, buzzing with new batteries and a jagged blade. What were you supposed to talk about when you find out that your superhero girlfriend is actually your superhero not-girlfriend, which makes her your superhero girlfriend that you've wanted to date for over a year? Speaking of superheroes, where was Plague? Why hadn't he made an ill-timed remark yet? Also, where was Tiki? Come to think of it. Where was Tiki every time Marinette came over as Malta Mouse? There were more layers to this than he initially realized, but the saw of silence buzzed on. You know what the downside of coming at night instead of tomorrow afternoon is? Adrian tried. Um, what? It's totally inappropriate to curl up and watch a movie. Oh... Her smile grew, the silence hissing away like a deflating balloon. Is it? Of course it is, Marinette, he scoffed. It's a school night. Her eyes widened, clouding with confusion. She couldn't tell if he was joking or not. So, no movie? Tomorrow. He stepped forward pressing a kiss to her forehead as he wrapped his hands around her wrists to celebrate. Dating? That Lady Noir is canon, and Nino owes me twenty. She laughed again, genuine this time, shaking her head in a way that was so clearly Ladybug, Adrian felt betrayed by himself for not realizing it before. Can you imagine what Alia will say? Oh, she's gonna rip me a new one. Excuse me? You broke up with Adrian only to date Cat Noir the next day. Think she'll put it together? He exhaled through his nose. <sighs> he pressed his forehead to hers, their noses grazing. I can't openly date you at school, and now we have to sneak around because of our teammates. That's what you get for bragging about a mouse, she laughed. He straightened, catching her eye. Of course I bragged. You're the cutest girlfriend ever. He squeezed her wrists twice as she looked away, the tips of her ears matching her cheeks. You tomcat. You're tomcat, he corrected. Marinette giggled, biting her lip. So we're still dating? Does Plague like cheese? He raised an eyebrow. Yeah, I might not recognize the love of my life in her costume changes, but I do know an opportunity when I see one. Um, cool. Yeah. He hated to do it, but it was time. I'll see you home. Oh, that's... It's a school night. Let me take my girlfriend home. Partner. He knew his smile matched hers. He could feel its home on his face. And while it was true it was a school night and he wanted her home, it was also him trying to create a space to process. In front of her, he was all smiles and glee, but there were more layers to this. It was awesome news, but not something he could page through in a ten-minute conversation. No. He needed to process, because his current reaction was merely a buffer. If it loaded into something bad, like anger or venom, he wanted to process it without her nearby. And if it was something light, like glee, well, he'd foster it to share with her in the morning. But until then, he'd keep masking. He'd put on a mask and escort her home his reaction hidden until he was safe and in solitude to process. Marinette was Ladybug, his partner. Ladybug was Marinette, his girlfriend. And knowing her classmate was her partner, 
she dated him without so much as dropping a hint, and somehow that spot felt like betrayal. So he'd work through it, again and again in a goofy loop, until it didn't. Until he understood her not just in theory, but from within. Adrian would take time and space from Marinette to process just what decisions she'd made for the two of them over the past four months, withholding the truth from him the entire time. Thank you so much for listening. Chapter 23 is on the way. In the meantime, uh, check out other videos on this channel and comment Goofy Loop in the comment section. I will catch you in the next one. Bye!